what is the goal of uh, the cabal then? That's a very good question, and it's a very, very relevant question, especially for the the young people watching this. Mm. Um, there is an end game. It has been working towards it uh, for a long time. This has not been going on for five years or 50 years. But this, this goes back thousands of years. And uh, the the key to increasing human control has been increasing human centralization of power. So, for instance, um, there was a time when you, the human race um, was uh, made up of tribes. And the tribes um, decided what happened in the tribe. Then there came a big change when lots of tribes came together under what were called nations. And then a few people at the center of the nation were now dictating to all the former tribes that made up that nation. Through the European Union, we've gone to the next level, which is to bring the nations together under centralized control. And the idea eventually is to have a world government, world army, world central bank, world currency, cashless, um, which we're headed to so fast. Um, and, uh, and underpinning the, uh, that structure of centralized global control uh, is complete control of human perception. And it's happening in front of our eyes. Why would someone want that? If, if well, I mean, why, why does, why does, why does, why does Stalin want to control uh, uh, Russia with a rod of iron? Because they're fricking mad. Uh, they're psychopaths. And the, 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 the first, there's a thing uh, called the hair test. It's a list of traits, and if you have enough of them, you're a psychopath officially. And the top done. trait of a psychopath is lack of empathy. The inability to put themselves in the feelings uh, 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 and the situation they're making other people suffer. And when you remove empathy, all limits go. Right. We're back to 9-11. Only people with no empathy could possibly do that, knowing the consequences for those people that could start the second, the first world, second world wars. So uh, lack of empathy. But where, they, where this is... Sadly, the, those people are also very... Um good at what they do they're very good yeah. they're very sick but intellectually they're, they're very very, very yeah. clever right. and they they study and this is what AI is doing you know they talk about surveillance and and all this technological surveillance all this AI stuff well it's not just surveillance all the things that the human race posts on the internet posts on social media, all that is being fed into um, AI, which is becoming enormously skilled at understanding the human psyche, mm. therefore able to manipulate the human psyche to control what? We're back to it, control perception. But the end game in terms of con complete control of human perception is to connect the human brain to artificial intelligence. And um, this is something I've been warning about now for so frickin' long. And the Silicon Valley crazies are now openly talking about it. There's a guy at uh, Google, he's called a futurist, called Ray Kurzweil. And there are others like him as well. And they're actually giving the year 2030 for when, which we're in 2019 as we speak, uh, for connecting the human brain to artificial intelligence. Um, and that at that point and I'm, I'm now quoting or paraphrasing Kurzweil um, once that connections made he said AI will do more and more and more of human thinking until human thinking as we currently know it will be basically negligible right in other words the human mind will become AI and instead of manipulating human perception human perception will become direct through um, AI and this is how they've done it there's a. Um, well, we're already kind of. Oh, on we way. are. Can, oh, I, yeah. can I ask? Can I using the phone for a start. Oh yeah. Well, I, I just want to give you a sequence because this right. will be very relevant to the people watching this. Um, you know, I talked about problem, reaction, solution. Mm. There's another. There's another technique that is the bedfellow, the stablemate of problem, reaction, solution. I call it the totalitarian tiptoe. And what you do is you start Excellent. at A and you know you're going to Z. But if you go in too big a leap to Z, the change is such that people go, "What's going on? What's going on? What's happening?" So you go as, as big a leap as you can, but not so big that people see the pattern. So the totalitarian tiptoe to um, control by AI went like this. Stage one 
get them addicted to technology that they hold. Your goal is to get in the body. So first of all, stage one, you get them addicted to technology they hold. So we had this explosion of uh, the smartphone era. And uh, even before that, you could say, yeah, I mean, even calculators, that kind of thing, yeah. Tamagotchis. Well, if you want technology that goes inside someone, I know a few <laughs> devices. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you bloody, you bloody would. Yeah, <laughs> but um, believe me, then they're, they're not addicted in the same. No. That, so, so, so that so is that's interesting. So, so, that, right. so, so, so that's stage one, and that's achieved. Right. Um, vast, achieved vast numbers of people are absolutely addicted to technology they hold. You go to stage two; they're holdables. Next stage, wearables. You're going in the body, so next stage you get on the body. This is your Apple Watch, your Bluetooth, and all these things. Well, en endless this gadgets. Is, this is literally not an He's Apple got Watch. Watch so, endless yeah. gadgets that you, you wear. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and yeah, what they're drawing. doing is conditioning normality. They're making these things normal. And I'll tell you something about these office assistants in a minute about that too. Um, and, and then, uh, and, and these uh, AI bloody duck Barbie dolls they've given out for kids and stuff like that. So then what? you go to the next stage. Small soldiers. Which is inside the body, which mm -hmm. is internal chipping, which I've been saying was the plan since about 1992. Elon Musk is sort of big into oh, that. Oh, don't he? talk to me about him. Not oh, a fan. No, no, no. I really want to hear what you think about Elon, Elon Musk. Elon Musk comes out and says that AI could be the end of the human race. On that, he's right. And then he opens a freaking company called Neuralink to connect the human brain to computers. Yeah. I mean, talk me through that. And sort of Overton window sense of uh, the only um, the only uh, way uh, that they are going to connect everyone to AI, no matter where they are in the world, is by having the every inch of the planet covered with Wi-Fi, the cloud. This is what Kurzweil says that the human brain is going to be connected to the cloud. So. The cloud has to be global. And they are putting thousands and thousands of satellites up in orbit. Uh, Musk, one of the major ones through his company SpaceX, to beam Wi Fi at the planet so no one can escape from it. And are, are you uh, of the belief that this 5G thing is something to worry about? Massively. 5G is, is ramping up this whole what they call smart grid. Do you know, notice how everything today is called smart? Mm -hmm. Everything, him. everything called smart is part of a smart grid. And part of that smart grid is connecting AI to the human brain. So everything is connected by a uh, is controlled by AI. And whoever controls AI controls everything. And, and from one central point, when this grid is up and running and it's, it's being put into place more and more every day all over the world, whoever controls that central point controls not only uh, uh, you know, everything uh, here technologically, controls the human mind. And it, see how fast things move. Um, I remember some books ago, not that long ago really, I was warning about the plan for something called the Internet of Things, where everything is connected to the Internet. Now, already billions of things are connected to the Internet. Everything's connected to AI and the Internet. The Internet, by the way, was made possible thanks to an organization called DARPA, which is the technological development arm of the Pentagon. And um, if I called DARPA evil, I would, I would be fearful of... Um, of evil uh, suing me for defamation of character, to be honest. That's how bad it is, right? Um, and so the idea um, uh, is uh, if you, before you can make a physical connection to AI, and uh, people accept this, you've got to make a psychological connection. And what they're doing, uh, and because it, it's all a psychological game, the few cannot control billions unless they control the psyche of the billions. It's a, it's a very, very important um, psychological manipulation technique is called preemptive programming mm. okay this is how it works you are here you want to go there that society is so dramatically different to this one you're gonna you're gonna face a response against it you want to do what so what you do is you fill the movies and the programs with storylines and scenes and portrayals of that world and so what you're doing and, and, and you look at the movies that have come out in the last like 10 15 20 years about this whole world of um, uh, 
technology yeah. and robots and AI and all that stuff. Man. Any, but, anything with and, Will Smith in, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, and what do you call it? Um, uh, the, the one with the, Tom Cruise in. Oh, yeah, yeah, Minority Report. Yeah, Minority oh, Report, yeah. Mission Impossible 2, was that? Yes, yeah. and, and, and what you're doing is you're, pre you're, you're um, preparing the subconscious, particularly the subconscious, conscious as well, to become familiar with the world you want to take people into. Over so, window. So as the world is brought in for real, that familiarity is going to lessen the resistance to it because there's a familiarity you know about it. what they're going to do it, David? If they make it easier to get laid for men, that is the... St Tinder via, like, you know, microchip, that's do you, it. Do you know the worry is, David? You're laughing. He's totally sad. No, I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, no, if there's one way you'll get men to go along with this, yeah. is if you yeah. make it easier to get women. Guaranteed. That's, you, and I, I shouldn't be saying this because I'm giving them ideas. Yeah. But I've I, said I, it now. To be fair, Brian, I, to be fair, if you've had the idea, I think they've had the idea. Yeah. <laughs> just, Can I just, just ask very quickly, just, just for, to for this point? Yeah. You've got to get people familiar with AI and interacting with it yeah. as if it's human. Part of life, isn't it? As oh. if it's human. And that's what the office assistants are for. Some mm. people have one in every bloody room I've come across. Yeah. They're interacting with them as if the AI... Is that like Alexa and stuff? Yeah, like all that, that stuff. Yeah, yeah. As if the, ex, as if the AI voice is... Um, is human and and, and and then you've got the the Barbie dolls and yeah. these other remember toys. Rocky he had the the little thing that took the floor up for him Sylvester Stallone and Rocky yeah 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 that, I that, mean they're that, everywhere we're now. talking like early 90s yeah and even it was in the movies then. Do, you, do you know when you interact do you interact with any of these uh, things have you actually no, sort of, I've got you not dabbled at all no not at all um, does it why because it scares you or no, just because, because, because I, 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 I I don't I don't want them I don't need them so, you see the thing is that when people become addicted to something like technology, mm. they think they need it, yeah. but they don't necessarily need it. I mean, I, I, I don't carry a smartphone. Um, I have one at home, which comes out about once every six months. It's a 3G one. Um, when I have to be somewhere and contacted, and there's no way they would contact me, and, and what I say is, okay, I, I'll call you from a landline, and I find a landline. I, and that's as much as I use it, maybe three or four times a year for, you know, one small amount of times. Apart from that, I don't use that kind of technology. I think it's healthier. Yeah, but what it's doing, mm -hmm. it's, it's creating, especially with the kids and these AI-connected Barbie dolls and stuff, it's making them familiar with AI to the point where they perceive it as human. And once they've got that uh, acceptance and that interaction, then when they move into connected to here, you, again, you're going to have far less resistance because... The, it's not the oh my god kind of reaction. Yeah, there's no shock there. It's no shock. It it, it's normal. become part of life by yeah. then. And that's why they're targeting the kids now, because they are going to be the adults 2030 when they really want this to come in full blown.